I'd been mining for almost seven years now. It was a long journey, but I knew eventually it must be worth it. I constantly mined through all this gravel and stone, just looking for my precious gold. But eventually, I will reach it. Till then, I have to get through this gravel. I really should get a shovel. I, I, I just haven't gotten wrong to making one. <sighs> gravel can be very annoying at times. Perhaps I could find a different use for it. Either way, I'm running out of food anyway. I should go back to the house and perhaps find a good use for the gravel. Diorite, too. Anyway, as we go up, let's see what we have in mind here. Not much in my chest these days. It's rather dreary. It just rains and rains all day long. And I just mine and mine all day and all night. Uh, close the door. Anyway, let's see. Uh, we got some string here and maybe uh, some iron. I was going to use this for a chest plate, but maybe I could uh, use a little bit of this for a cauldron. Hmm. And then if we throw the string in. Ah, there we go, a sifter. That's more like it. Uh, perhaps we can put some gravel in here. Ah, rather nifty. Is that what I think it is? Why, it's gold. It's golden. Oh, my goodness, we have done it. <clears throat> Tis I, Super Tendo Boy. Sorry about that. Um, I was trying something new today. I just thought I'd... Sorry. Forget that ever happened. Anyway, so, yeah, this is my new concept. You guys have been begging for it, and here I have it. I have uh, ore sifters in one command. Now, I've already done ore sifters before, and you guys really seem to like it, and you wanted me to put it into a one command. So, that's what I've done today. Um, so, let me just go out and grab a cauldron. It works just like my other one, except with a few differences that you probably saw there. And so, um, also, by the way, that uh, rock at the bottom, I know that that's not diorite. I know that's andesite. This is diorite. Um, but anyway... Um, if you just take your cauldron and you throw a string on top, just like last time, it goes ahead and it makes yourself a little, um, what do you call it, an ore sifter. I almost forgot the name of it. Um, and in this version, you're going to go ahead and break the cauldron and it gets rid of the ore sifter. Uh, this thing only takes one entity. There's just one entity and that's the sifter itself. It's really easy on your game. You can have a bunch of these. We can go ahead and set up some others around here. Um, also, I was able to get rid of the glitch that we had, um, where sometimes if you threw the string, it would bounce out and then fly away and create a sifter somewhere else. Anyway, um, so you can have multiple of them at the time, at one time. And uh, pretty much what you do is you just take gravel, and sadly, only gravel. I did not make it able to be done with sand. And then you just right click. And then you can see it has a little animation of the gravel going down, some particles, a little dirt digging sound effects, and then it gives you uh, something random. And uh, there's only 12 different things that I did in this because this is a rather big one command. And so, uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and show it to you guys over here. This is the whole one command. Um, uh, there's 29 command blocks in it, uh, not including, obviously, the clock. And 12 of those are actually just the different uh, random items that you can get. So, it takes quite a few commands. Um, and a lot of that's for the animation. When you right-click, it goes ahead and, uh, yeah, it does the animation. Also, new feature that I added, when you right-click it and it sifts, instead of just giving you the item, it actually pops out of it. And also, you can get more than one of each item. And so, if I just right-click, it goes through and something pops out. So a lot of times you get junk like gunpowder, sticks, uh, bones I think you saw. Um, uh, and I think uh, those are all like have the same chance with the exception of like gold, redstone, diamond, uh, lapis, and emerald. They are all about like I think a third as rare uh, as compared to the basic trash ones which is stick, um, coal ore, iron ore, iron ore is a bit more valuable, but it's still on the same level of, um, 
rarity, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, you can have a bunch of these going. You just right click and you get a random thing. And actually, uh, if we go ahead and break this. Sorry, that's the side with the armor stand. By the way, yeah, these are um, heads that are tilted on the armor stand. So the armor stand is on one of the sides. It's on this side right here. Um, also, I fixed it so you can't interact with anything except to place something in its hand. Um, also, when you're right clicking into it, you have to be sort of facing the armor stand somewhat. Like, I can't uh, right click it from right here or from right here. It has to be somewhere touching the armor stand. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, I think it just deleted some string there. That might be because of... Actually, I don't know. I'm going to have to make sure that it does not delete string because it might be thinking that that's the string being used to create it. But um, it works pretty well um, for multiple ones. I might be able to trigger it to glitch if I get enough of these here, but we'll go ahead and see because these can be done in mass production. Also, I think you can create two in the same cauldron. Um, I might try to remove that, but uh, yeah, you just saw that right there. And I think we can go ahead and just... On which side is it? There we go. And we just create one in every single one. And... Oh, we can't reach that here. We'll just do it in all of them. Do, 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 do... And there. And it looks like we got an item from each one, multiple of some. Um, and it didn't really glitch out too much. And when you destroy it, it destroys the sifter inside of it. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it's in 25 command blocks, obviously, compressed down into a one command. Once again, thank you so much to Mr. Goretto for creating the generator that I use for it. Uh, and if you like the stupid skit thing that I did at the beginning, tell me in the comments below. I might try it. I'm not exactly the greatest actor. I'm not really too good with voices, but I thought I'd try something, uh, especially with the super secret settings. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Uh... If you have any more requests for one commands, put them in the comments below. And as always, have yourself a wonderful day.